Hey guys, Paul here with Patek. In this video, we're going to take a look at the brand new Retrospective 15 backpack from Think Tank Photo. Um, this is a, a really stylish uh, canvas backpack targeting, I guess, your backcountry travel uh, photographers. Not that us urbanites couldn't use it as well, but a really cool backpack. That's what this video is about. Let's get into it. Okay, so Retrospective 15. This is a, a canvas backpack. It's been treated with, uh, I think it's called a DWR waterproofing type uh, treatment. So, you know, this is, uh, it's gonna repel water fairly well. Um, I've had the bag out over the last couple of weeks. By the way, current price uh, at B&H Photo is 249 US. Um, so yeah just to, to give you an idea of the cost of the backpack. So I think it's pretty competitively priced. Um, and it carries kind of a wide range of gear. Everything from, um, we look at the map here, you can see that you can get a 70 to 200 DSLR um, with the lens hood attached. I'm using it for my Sony kit. So I've got an A6000, um, A7 III, but uh, if you look at the uh, little map that comes with it, the bag basically will allow you to carry a combination of camera gear and, uh, you know, hiking gear, clothing, what have you. So you can set the bag up in a number of different ways. So you, it's definitely a multi-use uh, kind of bag. And uh, so far, I've had great success with it. Had it out on a couple of shoots and, and had a lot of fun with it. So let's take a look. Okay, on the front of the bag, You've got a flap that has two leather loops on it, just on the inside, and you've got a couple of uh, steel rings here, and that's how you open and close the flap. And it's got some nice stylish material on the inside here, and you'll notice that the dividers on the inside of the bag have the same uh, color scheme. So it's, it's really a cool looking bag. And actually, if I, I just compare it to you, compare it to you, compare it for you, uh, with my retrospective 30. So you can see it's got the same canvas style, uh, pine stone color. This bag comes in black or pine stone, so you've got a, a, a choice of the two, and uh, really up to you which one you use. So let's just put this one out of the way. I don't think there was any camera gear in that bag. <laughs> okay. So carrying on with the front of the bag, yeah. <laughs> So you got a couple of steel attachment points here, a Velcro flap. You've got a huge uh, pocket on the front of this bag. I mean, you can get, to get a ton of stuff in this bag for sure. A zippered pocket down the front here as well. Carry all kinds of different uh, little bits and pieces. And then you have the traditional think tank uh, dividers for business cards, pens, little bits and bobs that you wanna carry in the front of the bag. And then this pleated uh, section here is held closed with the Velcro. And what you'll notice about the bag throughout is, I would describe it as a heavy duty webbing. Um, it's a canvas bag, but this stuff here is really, you know, strong material. These Molly loops, I mean, I got this carabiner thing. I use this on a number of my bags for hooking different things, but you've got these Molly loops on both sides of the bag and in different places on the shoulder straps. And we'll look at that in a second. Now on the side of the bag, you've got the traditional rain cover and I just keep it in this pocket because I, I needed all the space I could find on the inside of the bag and we'll get to that in a second. But um, these pockets here are really cool. They have a little flap in them at the bottom that folds down. So it gives you extra support on the bottom. And so now you can jam in here a big heavy duty water bottle. You can put a tripod in here. And I did that the other day when I was out in the field. I'll show you some photos uh, of that setup. And then when you're not using it, fold the flap up and then just take this like so and hook it onto the molly and it folds flat. Now, the other thing that you can do uh, with this bag, and that is because of the Molly loops, you could put skin pouches on here or uh, whatever you want. There's a number of things that you could attach to these Molly loops. So it's a very versatile uh, kind of bag. I really like it. It's, it's, it's definitely uh, a handy feature for sure. You've got tripod straps on both sides. Okay, so it's up to you. You want to carry it right or left. 
On the other side of the bag, same setup here, and I think, because um, I was trying to maximize space, I used one of these little think tank accessory pouches, and I've got my, you know, speed light cleat and a couple of, um, I think I got a type C adapter and charger cables in here, but that's handy as well, right? And then this canvas uh, material travels right down the side of the bag, so there's lots of reinforcement on this bag. It's not going to give way on you uh, prematurely, that's for sure. But you got to remember to put that little flap up, fold it over, hook the loop down. Now on the top of the bag, there's a security flap on this bag. So if you're someplace like Barcelona, Spain, which is known for pickpockets, probably pickpocket capital of the world, um, you can zipper this thing closed. And that'll give you a little bit extra security. And when you fold this over, you notice that the flap stays with it. The Velcro sticks to it. There's also a pocket here. So if you want to fold that flap out of the way, you can take this flap and jam it up into the pocket and keep it out of the way. And the, the bag is versatile in the way that it can be used. I mean, you have the top access and the primary access is through the back. So you don't have to worry about laying this down and getting your the, the backside all covered in mud, what have you. I typically just keep this closed, like so. Bring this over. And I'll access all my gear through the back because I'm used to roller bags. I like to work out of a bag. And so moving to the back of the bag, you got a heavy duty grab handle. And you, you'll see that I use this as I'm putting the bag on and off. Very handy feature. Um, one thing I can say uh, about the shoulder straps on this bag is that they will not cut into This bag is very comfortable and you'll see how easy it, it goes on and off in a second. You've got this canvas webbing material. The military guys like to call them molly loops. You've got two steel rings here. If you've got a camera strap that you want to hang or hook it onto those steel loops, you've got that option as well. And boys and girls, one feature I would point out to you that is so important on a backpack is this sternum strap. This thing sliding up and down makes all the difference in the world for allowing you to fit the bag to your size and weight. Okay, I'm fairly tall, I'm 6'2 and shrinking, and so I don't think I would buy a backpack that didn't have this sternum strap here. It just makes such a difference, and you'll see when I try the bag on. But um, yeah, so you've got very well padded shoulder straps, which make the bag really comfortable to use. You've got lots of adjustment. Um, the other thing you have is two straps to go around your waist. And that helps to distribute the load and keep the bag uh, tied up so it's not shaking around. It's not going to, you know, dig into your back or anything like that. So now we can get to the most interesting part of this bag. And I think that is the backside and where you're going to access your material. So let's do that. Okay, so this is the uh, back panel access, and you can see you've got nice breathable material here. You got like, uh, I guess I'd call this a lumbar pad uh, on this side here. YKK zippers, pull these down. And I, I think I mentioned I'm using this bag for my Sony kit. So what I've got is A6000 with a 16 millimeter Sony lens. Um, this is my uh, um, Biltrox 85 millimeter 1.8, and this is my Sony A7 III. I tried, believe me, I tried to get two camera bodies in here um, with lenses on, and I just couldn't do it. So I ended up having to have the lens uh, detached. But still, I got my A7 III, Viltrox 85, Sony with the 16 millimeter Sigma lens attached, my Mikey battery grip for the A6000, uh, 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens up here, 50 millimeter 1.8, and my Godox Speedlight little uh, air blower. And up top, I've got my shoulder strap, which I never use, lens cleaning kit, a couple of wipes, and the best kept secret about Sony cameras. <laughs> I did a video on this. These are Young Newell RF603 radio triggers and they are the best radio trigger remote control for Sony cameras. And I don't see very many people uh, covering this on uh, the YouTube community. So I did a video on it a while ago. You can check the link here. Um, you need a specific cable to go from the 2.5 millimeter port 
to your multi-port on the Sony camera. But don't miss out on this one. This is the handiest feature. And the reason I say that, if you buy this little Sony remote control, um, it's great in the studio. But low light, sunlight, forget it. This IR thing is not going to work for you. These radio triggers still work up to 100, 150 feet away, no problem. So don't miss out on that one. Yeah, I know. Who's your buddy now? <laughs> Let's just throw this out of the way. Okay, so you've got terrific access here on the back side of the bag. And, you know, you can see the stylus treatment is continued on the inside of the bag. And these are the dividers. ThinkTech always provides you probably more dividers than you need. I configured this bag in a couple of different ways, and you can, you'll can you see the pictures there in a second. Um, but to carry two cameras, my Sony kit, this was probably the best solution that I came up with. And you'll find there is one, two, and there's one other divider, this gray divider that I didn't use uh, to get the ki uh, kit configured this way. So one last little thing that I didn't mention, and that is on the bottom of the bag, you can see that this heavy duty canvas strapping material continues right through the bottom of the bag. And then for easy opening and closing, you've got these little tabs here that'll help you, you know, you grab a hold of the zipper. So is there anything I don't like about the bag? I would say there's only one tiny little thing, and it's probably just personal preference, but I don't like the fact that, um, you know, the, the flap comes over and it leaves this little, little gap here. Even with the security strap, I still would have liked to have seen the material extend out a little bit or just, you know, cover over like this, but I know you're probably going to say I'm nitpicking, and maybe I am, but um, I think the bag itself is a terrific uh, camera bag. I mean, if you're looking for something that's going to wear well, and let's do the litmus test, eh? Like, if you take this, see how easy it goes on and off once you have it set up properly? And I apologize, I've got the Asden Pro XD right here, so you might hear a little scuffing noise, but let me just take the lumbar strap here, hook this on. Can't remember, that's all the way down, like so, yep. And so for me, and then just reach around and hook on your waist strap like this. And it's very comfortable. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but I'm 6'2 and shrinking. So um, after, I've been out a couple of times hiking with this bag for probably 45 minutes to an hour. And I mean, it's, it's winter time here in Canada, right north of Toronto. So um, I've had a winter coat on, but still no issues with discomfort or anything like that. So I've been quite happy with the feel of the bag and the ease uh, to get the bag on and off. You know, you don't really have to struggle with it. And for me, I've been in the photography game for a long time. So, you know, one of the things that I look for is is the bag easy to get on and off? Is it easy to use? Do I have to fight with it to get my camera out of the bag? And I haven't had any of these issues with this bag. It's got a ton of versatility, so I highly recommend it. As a matter of fact, I'll put a link in the description to, it's an affiliate link, and Think Tank is offering, I think, free shipping and a small gift, uh, as long as you spend more than 50 bucks. And I mean, if you buy this bag, it's 249 US at the time of this February 27th today, I think it is. So um, that offer is available to you if you want it. Um, and don't hesitate to connect in and tell me what you think of the bag. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. But um, other than the fact that I think it's, for me personally, it's a little bit small for my Sony kit to carry everything I need. If I was only carrying um, one kit or you know, setting the, setting the bag up in one of the ways that uh, it's described here, no issues whatsoever. So I will take this opportunity to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the, the video useful. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like, and don't forget to check the subscription if you want to get some free gear from uh, Think Tank Photo. I think they give away like, you know, a free pocket rocket or something like that if you buy the bag. Um, so yeah, take care and uh, we'll see you next time.